Thank you guys for sitting down with us. I love both of you guys' characters so much. Thank you. When you first signed on to do the film and you saw who you were going to be working with, tell me a little bit about what went through your head. <laughs> well, I, I had a Skype call with okay. Craig Brewer. Okay. Um, the Craig Brewer. And he said that Eddie Murphy had personally asked for me to be in the film. He led with that. Okay. I thought I was auditioning. Okay. I thought I was, we were gonna read the sides right, right, and right. stuff. And, uh, but rather it was a conversation about tonality right. and um, how to shape a character where there was very little yeah. information about him in real life. Yeah. Um, and so when he said that, I just sort of I don't know, girl. I, I mean, <laughs> how does one respond to right. that you've been summoned? Right. You by know, the... by the Eddie Murphy. So I just sort of, I don't know, froze a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Um, as the, I guess, when I knew, when I found out that I got the part, um, there was a level of um, pride because um, I knew that I had put in the work, Absolutely. you know, and I was also joyful because I knew in knowing what the script was giving that I could have an opportunity to do something that had always been on my list since I decided to act, mm -hmm. and that is to break down the stereotypes Absolutely. and to be able to be seen as a leading lady, truly, yeah. without commenting on it, on my size, the color of my skin. Yeah. Um, and that was that's always been a very big deal to me. Absolutely. So to be able to do that and on this scale and having the vehicle like Eddie Murphy behind it Absolutely. and for the, to have this opportunity for the world to see this, okay. is an, is, it's a phenomenal gift. So uh, the more people that got added, beyond Eddie, that right. got added, I was like, <gasps> people yeah. are gonna watch this. You know people what I mean? Exactly. Like, people are gonna actually people watch this. Because as an actor, you can be in some amazing projects right. that no, well, not no one, but but that the masses right. won't see. Absolutely. Well, I feel like you guys' characters um, individually kind of represented something that maybe wasn't on the forefront of that time. You know, a, a woman, a black woman, especially in a gay man. Was that important for you guys to like really portray that in the movie? Um. How to articulate that? I guess if we were, uh, okay. I if, mean, just in the time, it was kind of, you know, we didn't see that too much. Right, I mean, like, it, it, it's important, it's important, representation matters. Right. And gens. Right. So, you know, and the fact that they didn't shy away from right. mm -hmm. that Not at all. Rudy had, you know, this sort of Icon, this kind of sexual figure, hypermasculine, yes. you know, um, heterosexual male. Yes. Um, <laughs> that that he, one of his co close confidants was, you know, uh, a gay man. Um, it's very important, you know. I, I even now, I, I not to make this about my little album, but I wrote an album and a song that I call "Open Letter," yeah. which is a letter to heterosexual black men, okay. who in my past have not rallied around me. Yes. Mm. Um, the way that I had hoped yes. when I was in need or when my people were in need, right. you know. And as a result, it caused a severe distrust. Okay. And I still feel it. And I, uh, so to, to have, you know, this man immortalized on the big screen yes. next to not only Eddie Murphy, but to have Rudy and Tony's story told and how that the two can coexist and the two can love each other. Absolutely. And the it's two so good can, to see. It is so good to see. And I want more of that. Absolutely. And I, the, <coughs> you know, I want more of that. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, yes to all of that. And I, and I think it tells you, you know, who, what type of man Rudy Ray was. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I would say on in regards to my side where we're put put into play um i think it's on one level as a woman and also on one level as a curvy woman so like you know we discuss like should there be sex scenes should should you see them like together is that important and from what i read in the script and what i love so much about it was that just how uh you know what i mean a gay man and a heterosexual man can have 
a, a platonic relationship and it be truthful right. it be and brotherhood. Right. It truly at its core right. so that I'm a strong black woman. And yes, and we can even be figure. romantic and intimate with one another. But what was so profound to me was that I can be a strong black woman in the myriad of things that that entails yeah. without me yeah. taking my clothes off, Absolutely. without me having to have a sex scene, do you know what I mean? Or to be a curvy woman and it's never talked about. Yeah. He goes through it, he discusses it and comes to me right. and talks about it and that's nice because often it's commented as a female like, let me make it okay for you for why I look the right. way I do. Right. And it showed a level of intimacy yeah. between the two of you. Hmm that didn't need to be sexualized. Right, and um, respect. And, re and respect. Yeah. yeah, which at that time is a very big deal. Very big deal, especially in that time. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much.